So, yeah, I, yeah, I'm sure. So here's the thing. Now, now you see it. See what I'm saying? Like y'all just, y'all just be in the way. Appreciate the, appreciate the gifted, bro. Appreciate you. Go. Does this outfit look familiar? This is the same thing I wore last time I took you over my knee and spanked your bottom with some discipline. And I'm happy to report that these are back in stock and a lot more at moistglobal.com. Last time I talked about you, I used you for a merchandise push as well, so. Are these robes or are these, um, like, what do you get those things when you go, like, to karate class? They look more like that than robes. If he markets this the right way, I get one. I don't want a robe. A gi. There you go. A gi. Yeah, I'll get a gi. You got to make pants with it, though. Oh, might as well stick with tradition. I bet just seeing me in this attire again has just sent you on a full-blown winter soldier episode with your eyes rolling into the back of your skull as you're experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder because the first video I made on you offended you to such a high degree that you have not stopped whining since. It's already been three months. Can you believe that? How time flies. You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere. So naturally, I responded by making fun of you in return. Oh, I remember that. 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 Everything that goes on with these YouTubers and these streamers pops up on my uh, on my Twitter feed. I remember that. Which was incredibly weird. And presumptuous to assume that because someone uh, is in a relationship that they're like envious of people who uh have multiple partners you know every every dude that just is in a relationship i guess they're just immediately jealous of people who aren't in one and they just want to fuck everybody too like i don't know why that's the assumption but whatever floats your boat sneeko and showcasing the reasons why i don't respect you but unfortunately i failed to calculate just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are because this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an armageddon in your brain Three months you have continued to melt down about this. The day after I posted my response, he went on stream and had a huge... Like, what are we doing? You know? What is this, gang? I look at this and I'm just like... I don't... What? Like, you're not... You're never going to be in a position where you use this, gang. I'm sorry. You're just not. I don't, I don't get this, 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 like, niggas get guns or get a gun and then they just start toting it and they just start showing it. I don't, I don't understand. Is this supposed to be a threat? Is this supposed to be an intimidation tactic? Are you, are you trying to like say something like the amount of niggas who just have guns like and don't show them? I don't. Like, the average person has a weapon, bro. Unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing. Like, you just let the whole world know that this is your first time being close to any type of iron or metal whatsoever when you get to this level, to this extent. Thing, And then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them, saying, like, oh, you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at Sneeko's stream, right? Welcome, Cox. <laughs> his fingers on the tricks. That kind of shit. <laughs> And it got really under his skin in a big way. Your figure should not be, bro, please. Big way, so he started dancing please, around. Oh, Jesus, please take his gun away, bro, please. With the gun and threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you. Holy Waving his shit, gun around and stop. dancing. You want to watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You, wanna wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you were? Bro, you have full, you have full, <laughs> like, you, you're making it seem like you even use this. They're both full. I don't, I don't, I don't understand this, dude. You're, 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 like, telling on yourself. I'm not saying that you, I don't, I don't even want you to be using them for real. I don't even want you to be on that type of timing. But they're literally, you haven't shot shit. There's nothing that you, like, Okay, if you want to be technical, yeah, they're mags, but, like, most people who got, like, a gun, they gonna call it a clip. Like, if they, a, like, a super, super and duper, I'm like, dead, niggas, niggas in certain down, areas, bro, they just gonna say clips. Even though technically they're wrong, they just gonna say clips. Now, the reason he keeps saying watch my clips while threatening me here 
is because during the stream I couldn't watch him live because Goes he just shooting kept range once and start acting like this. You start acting crazy. Shouting slurs. So I said, watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. And I'm sorry to be that guy. This is like the grammar police of guns. But he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. See, I ain't gonna lie. Anytime I ever do that. I'm and sorry. Anytime this ever happens. Going down in here, I'm with the money team. Just the, the click. It just sounds sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I think showing guns on the internet is lame as fuck, I do. It's, it's just lame as hell. It's just sexy hearing the noise. And you just, like, be nonchalant about the shit. I ain't gonna lie. They're mags, not clips. I'm not. I'm never showing my I'm weapon, though. I'm not scared though. of someone the real who one. took pictures in man panties. He could off himself in a video game and no one would care. People would care, but I think nobody would, like, it wouldn't have any impact. You absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this- Alright, now nah, he wildin'. See what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's certain niggas, they go here, and then a nigga just- You think that you- You, th you think you- You think you in this room, and then a nigga just pull out some other shit. Like, for what? Why are we- Why are you pulling that bitch out? Is it necessary? I don't think so. This is also- That's kind of metaphorical, though. A mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. Anyway, sorry for the gun anatomy lesson. He was very upset, so he was threatening to come shoot me, beat me up, all of that, because I hurt his feelings, and it's been festering for quite some time now. Three fucking months. You love Yo, to bitch about how heavy. everyone's canceling you. These soy boy NPC bots are all canceling you. It's all you do. You treat the teenagers in your Discord like they're your goddamn therapist. Just going in there to complain about the invisible boogeyman canceling you again, shaking your fist at the clouds. I also love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough what? to come up with anything on your own. The fuck is you this? have no ability to banter. What the fuck you can't is this? What the server fuck? like What is this? Quick, I need a response. Go to memes, everyone. See, this why I don't even like what is this, gang? Is it that serious? I heard he was giving a class, like a class to niggas. And like, is this what they paying for to be in a server where they got to basically work for him to give responses to memes? I hope this ain't in the, in the shit that y'all paid for. And by y'all, I don't mean the people in the chat right now. I'm just saying in general. Like it's your PR team. So you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough to come up That's with anything crazy. on your own. You have no ability to banter. You can't insult anyone. Anytime you're pushed, all you fall back on is one of three things. Soy boy, bot, or NPC. And that's it. You never deviate from this path. Which is ironic, because you're like literally a sheep. You have three programmed responses. You're like the absolute worst character, side character in an MMO. It's pathetic. But I'm getting sidetracked. You love to be super public about how much you hate antidepressants and you shit on anyone who takes antidepressants. But with the way you talk in your Discord server, I'm pretty convinced that you're only two or three messages away from asking your community to source antidepressants for you under the table to help with all this mental anguish you're going through. And I think that honestly be a good idea. It might what help mental you. anguish? He admitted to I'm, mental I'm, anguish? I'm, I'm, I'm putting the cart before the horse here. How did we get to this point? Yeah, please, Well, let me I know. made that video about Sneeko and I fully planned on that being the only time I ever talked about this asshole. I really did. All I wanted to do was highlight why I personally don't respect him. I know a lot of people criticize me for not tackling his points. And to that I say, bah humbug, this fucking goober didn't make any points. All yeah. This is why it's always going to be a losing game for anybody that actually tries to have a debate with some of these people. Because it's like, what, what, why waste your time? I don't understand what you want the person that's against the, his ideology to argue. It's, it's either... To entertain Sneeko's ideology is to basically entertain, like, an idiot. And you're sitting there arguing with him over and over again for what? What's the point? All he did was insult me and my girlfriend. He insulted me and my girlfriend because I made fun of one of his friend's blatantly fake stories. He resorted to childish name-calling like, I'm ugly and I don't go outside. That's not making any points. Like, what am I supposed to debunk, debunk there? No, actually, my mom thinks I'm handsome and, and so does my girlfriend. So you're wrong. Factually wrong. There's nothing to debunk. The whole point of the video was highlighting why I don't respect him. I'll go ahead and briefly give you a previously on Dragon Ball Z lore recap to 
bring you up to speed on the points I was making for why I think he is a pathetic piece of shit. Yeah, because I don't know. I'm out of the loop. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old man in these Twitch and YouTube streets. I need to be informed. Fill me up. I mean, fill me in. And his opinion holds no value in my eyes. I said It's because he publicly defends Cuties as one of his favorite movies. Cuties was a Netflix film that used real in. child actresses in sexual situations. So they sexualized in. real children. A fact that Sneeko himself acknowledges, but writes off as being okay because it's realistic, because in the real world, children get sexualized. I'll say it again. Regardless of what the intention of the film was, they missed the mark because what ended up happening is they sexualized the child actresses. That is a problem. Full stop. Even if the message was supposed to be the opposite, they still ended up contributing to the very problem they were speaking out against. I saw Cuties last night and it was it was pretty good. What was the point of Cuties, by the way? It's a pretty I really good movie. I went in ready to hate like everybody else. I, I saw the cover and it was, I got clicked. Like just seeing this immediately is, is enough for me to, you know, like to block it on recommended if it popped up on um whatever streaming site it was on. Well, I don't, I don't. Like just seeing this is enough. I I don't I don't need to watch the movie, bro. The, the poster is is too much. Means the it's movie down failed down in its mission. Movie. I don't know what Big you don't get about months, that. Big eleven months, lucky. But regardless, I'm not here to just here. keep hammering home the same points. Uh, another thing that I talked about for a reason I don't respect him is because he battles with his own sexuality. He is very public about how he used to go to these swinger parties. I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks, where he watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men. Even telling the story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get fucked by a different man. Moaning intensely and it, it was traumatizing. Yeah, I don't... I, I would think that this would disbar you from ever wanting to enter like the alpha male discussion. Now, maybe you gotta be on some sigma male shit to like look at the girl that you love and then like agree to her getting fucked by another guy in front of you maybe that's the true definition of a sigma male and true independence for what you would want your woman to have um maybe but and you you thing. can't it's going down in here i just don't team. see how you can do that and then try to like be like oh i gotta like you should only want traditional you know women they got to be like super self-respecting, not saying that his girl couldn't be self-respecting because he clearly consented to and she consented to them doing that in front of him. But like, how do you change that drastically? Is is all I'm trying to get at. Like, that was the same question I have for, for like when I saw the Aiden Ross controversy. I'm like, how do these people change that drastically in less than like months in, in, in less than like a year? This is your whole new perspective that quick? Or are you just, you know what I'm saying, appealing to a certain demographic because you're afraid that you've fallen off? And then you can't even fully appeal to it because you watch your girl get fucked. Like, bro, come on. We we see you. I I we like it's it's public. You said it. Yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some reason. Because this was, imagine, see, imagine seeing the girl you love, like, get fucked. This is exactly where I saw it. Get fucked. You love her? Yeah, I do. I love her. Yeah, I love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm like, no, nah, let me not say that. I love my, my queen. wifey, my queen. And you allowed the love of your life to get, to get fucked get... by another man. What happened? Is this nigga, what is this on his foot? Is this lotion? Nah, niggas is crazy. I know they just got like a packet of lotion on his foot. What is this? And they they just like acting like it's not there. To the other it looks like, like a bandage. Sneeko used to be his own person. I'm sorry, now bro. Now he like wants lotion. to be someone else. Yeah, Let him go I that route. Why would you want to be this person though? I don't get it. I don't get why you, this is the person that you would want to be or emulate or even or even promote. I'm crazy. The first time, as soon as I saw it, like three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I'm just like, like the way he describes the society that he sees. That reminds me. Nah, Show bro, chill, chill, chill. The way he describes to his audience the society that he sees is very much so all these people are just like everyone else and like they're being bots or NPCs and shit like that. But like the ideology that you want people to maintain is an ideology that's been around for generations. 
Like, if anything, you want people to live under the same rule of thumb. You want people to be the exact same as one another. And when they deviate from that, you call them bots. How do you not realize the hypocrisy? But I, like I said, when you're just doing it because you want to maintain viewership of a certain demographic or audience, that's what you're going to do, even though what you're saying makes absolutely no fucking sense. Feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It's a lot. It's a lot. To, I th but I think it's something everybody should do just to test. No! I know. You know what? So my point with this was. See, it wasn't. Was why is this the guy that's lecturing everyone on their relationships, shitting on people's relationships, when he himself is in one that makes him very upset and he can't come to terms with it? Now, if he's open about being a cuck and happy and proud to be a cuck, that's fine. But he's not. It makes him mad every single time. And it just, it never get, it never gets. You never gonna not be able to use that against somebody. Like, bro, I don't care what I do ever in life. He could be a corniest nigga of all time. You let your girl get fucked. You let your girl get fucked. You let your girl get fucked. Like, that's all niggas gotta say. Yo, whole shit shut down forever, bro. You can't get no shit off, ever. So, why the fuck is this insecure guy the one that's the moral authority on healthy relationships all of a sudden? That was the point of me bringing up that clip. Now... That's that was basically the whole video. I summed it up real quick. All I pointed out is I don't respect his opinion because he defends a movie I consider to be child. I think any film or any production that has real children being sexualized should be classified as child. That's how I view it. Maybe your definition is different, but that's how I personally view that kind of content. So him defending that was beyond reprehensible to me. And him being very public with his cuckoldry and how... Uh, scarring it has been it should be a lesson an example that he himself is not great when it comes to relationships and all these things and i posted that and it made him extremely upset and he hasn't stopped fucking crying about it for three months so fast forward to two days ago i was streaming a moist esports tournament and i went up to go to the bathroom i had to take a shit it was a double flusher so okay wait hold on i haven't even fully processed what i was about to say and he's talking about shit no niggas hold on i'm not even at that point yet bro relax joe um i'm really reconsidering buying this gi now because of that information but second of all um fuck that really threw me off god damn it i had a thought in my head oh yeah it's just and i could see it be easier for for me to believe this whole you know thing that he's th th this whole like grifter attitude it would be easier for me to like Except it, if he was better at hiding his emotions, like most of these niggas that are like cr trying to go down the super supreme alt right pipeline, like super super deep down this road, like they at least seem to be better at like pretending as if shit don't bother them or playing into it to a point where it's like you can't use this against me. But like being this loud while also being this emotional about every little thing is kind of crazy. So I was on the toilet for quite some time, and I saw a Sneeko post that he's posted quite a few times now, and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing anything else right now on the porcelain throne. I'll play in the pig pen. So I did. Oh, he wasn't actually taking a shit. For three months now, Sneeko's had this adorable little collage that he made that looks like it's straight out of a 16-year-old girl's diary with pictures of boys from her class that she doesn't like. All about people that Damn. have hurt his feelings. This is his wall of shame Damn. for people that have insulted him online. What's even sadder about it is he purposely leaves out people that he's afraid of. So Turkey Tom, for example, Damn. made a whole video talking about Sneeko and how pathetic I he is. A lot. That was, and, that's kind of spot on right there. And Sneeko tried to talk a big game to him, even challenged him to a debate, which Turkey Tom accepted with jubilation. He was ecstatic. And then Sneeko kept ducking him, ghosting him. So he leaves Turkey Tom off of this list because he's afraid to actually talk to him. And he also leaves off quite a few other people, but the most notable other one that is comical for the absence is Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is an internet content creator that Sneeko lied about for a long time, and they had a lot of beef. And Brandon Buckingham actually challenged him. Bro, I, look, I get it, dude. We It's a lot of niggas on the internet I don't like. Um, I won't even say don't like. I don't have that much static for anybody on the internet. But I'm not watching a two and a half hour video on no nigga, much less making one. I don't know, gang. Like, 
it ain't that much information in the world you could tell me about a nigga to change my perspective to that degree that I'm willing to sit through two and a half hours. I can't do it, bro. This is literally longer than and the I'm fucking sorry. Black Panther movie. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. Longer than Creed 3, bro, and I haven't even seen the fucking movie, bro. Like, chill. This and is I'm crazy. It's going down he might here. have very team. valid reasons for his grievance, grievances to make some something like of this length, but... Like, expect the niggas to watch it. To be fair, 50 minutes is just footage of his girl getting smashed. <laughs> I highly doubt that's available on YouTube. If it is, though, Link. Trying to see what all the hubbub is about. If people let, if, if Sneeko let people fuck his bitch, like, I might get in line. I don't know. I might just be, you know what I'm saying? Um, But I'm just saying, like, I don't know what's going on here, bro. Two and a half hours is fucking wild. Like, you really got to dislike a nigga to, you know what I mean, be on this type of time. ...to a fight, and Sneeko is very fearful of him. We'll get into that in... We'll get into that more in depth in a moment, but I just need to set the stage a little bit here with this collage. So after seeing this for the hundredth time in the last three months, I finally just said, Holy shit, you pathetic, sensitive, soy little worm. I made fun of you for watching your girlfriend get tweet. fucked by numerous other men and also insulted you for defending child... <laughs> that's not cancellation. That's just spitting on you for being a pitiful, sad cuck. And this puppy really blew up on Twitter. There's no way that there is a video on the internet that's five hours of hating One Piece. I swear to God, I will watch it. Twitter in a big way. Now, I will say it again. What I did and what I am doing right now is not canceling you, Sneeko. I am insulting you. I am making fun of you. Something that you were supposed to be a huge proponent of. Oh my God, of, I gotta see it. Right? Wasn't like one of your big things like bullying needs to be brought back. So now that I'm making fun of you, what, all of a sudden, now it's now it's off limits, now it's canceling? You have become the SJWs that you criticize so much. I don't know how you don't realize that. Yeah, they're the exact same people every time, dog. I don't understand how they don't see the irony in the fact that you get mad at people for being mad at shit that genuinely affects them. Meanwhile, no reason to be mad on your own. And then when you actually are mad, unironically, none of your fan base can, like, see the irony in you being upset about something that really is minuscule at the end of the day. We continue. He says, you know in your soul you would never say that to my face. To which I respond, you literally have a collage of people that hurt your face. But what is the consequence for saying it to your face? What is the consequence for saying it to your face? I think this is important to talk about, and I just talked about it recently. When you are getting your feelings hurt and your immediate response isn't to fire back with insults, jokes, whatever, it's to challenge someone to a fight, you've taken a huge L. You've shown that the person has got under your skin, and the only thing you can resort to is a caveman brain of, I'll beat you in a fight. Sneeko, you beating me in a fight doesn't unfuck your girlfriend from the numerous men that had sex- Bro, bro, chill, chill, chill. It's not even that deep, but they was. That's crazy. What the fuck? You see what I'm saying? Like, there's no, there's nothing that you can say for niggas to, like, overlook that. You understand? There's nothing that you can... Like, Sneeko can say absolutely fucking lutely nothing. That's the fucked up part. Everybody who was ragging on Brother Nature for getting beat up at that sandwich shop, I feel like those niggas would fare very well in this Sneeko situation because every time I'm underneath a Brother Nature post, no matter what he posts, it's always, we didn't forget, we didn't forget, we didn't forget. We didn't forget. We didn't forget. It's been that way for like the last three and a half years. That's the only reason I still follow, bro. Just to see if they really forgot, and they never do. This is the same shit with Sneeko. Niggas are never going to let this go. Sex with her in front of you. It doesn't do anything. Everything I've said still stands. Nothing changes. It doesn't even salvage your ego. All it is is a pathetic fucking attempt at attention. And I don't think you believe half the things you talk about. I really think Sneeko just panders as much as possible. He That's what I think. I think I think it's just so profitable after a certain point to just so easily just filter all your beliefs into one idea just to make people feel validated to some degree and make them feel seen because they don't leave the house. And when they do, they're like upset that they don't get seen. It's just to me, you make that type of people feel acknowledged. They'll support you no matter what the fuck you do. No matter what, you could come out with a, with dick pills. You can come out with like, I don't know, whatever you want to do in life. They will blatantly support it just because you are validating how they felt, um, even if you don't really believe it. 
I saw that video of uh, what's his what's his name? God damn it! What the fuck is that dude's name? What is his name? Idubs. Idubs. I saw a video of Idubs on my timeline the other day. I think it was yesterday. And this nigga's going on there talking about how he doesn't like the audience that he cultivated, um, because he uh, he he basically is realizing the consequences of making people like that feel seen. And then, then you alienate that same fan base when you tell them essentially that I'm I, I'm actually not like you. And I was like a little phase in my life where I was being super super edgy and super super like you know um you know offensive just for the sake of a YouTube video. And you took me serious to a point where you know you 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 thought I was like a real person. You thought I was like a an actual human being that shared and and maintained those beliefs and values through and through. And when you realize that I didn't, now you feel like the world is over. You know what I mean? He himself doesn't even stand by the things he talks about. I really don't think he has any beliefs of his own. He just echoes what he thinks is going to get him the biggest audience slash the most money. Just like your fan, Sean? I don't have fans. What are you talking about? Now you want dick. That's what I think. So this puffing out his chest of challenging me to a fight is clearly attention. That's what it feels like. Because you don't have the same energy for Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is more than willing to fight you any day of the week. But with him, you don't want to do that for some reason. Why? Do you not stand by your beliefs when it comes to Brandon Buckingham? He has said all the same things about you that I am saying about you. So why is he exempt? Hmm? Why don't you want to fight him? What do I consider y'all then? Dick riders? That's so weird. This is what you you literally were you literally were trying to hex me when I was fighting the demon of hatred. I don't want to hear you talk. Said about Brandon Buckingham and fighting him. And then finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar sizes. Sneeko would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather just, just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. So now it's suddenly cool to just stay at home and keep it all online. The full video here from Willie Mac is an absolute masterpiece on laying out every pathetic thing that Sneeko has ever done, said, or everything ever. So I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. We won't be checking it out. It's a banger. So as you can see, the people he's confident in fighting are ones that he feels confident he'd win against. I'm Sean, anyone you will box? <laughs> yeah, you bitch, nigga. <laughs> I need to stop before I break this desk. I, you know how long it took me to put this shit together? L woman beater. No, I meant like, cause her box. You know what I mean? Like Sneeko having his girl fucked in it. And it was, it was a play. It was a double entendre. It was a double on. It was a double entendre. So if you understood and it didn't fly over your head, you would have got it. But you see what I'm saying? You didn't understand the, the spiritual. So you would saw it went. See, this is what I'm saying. Y'all uh, dick writing. Y'all are still dick writing. It's crazy. It's confirmed that Sean abuses look women down. Look at the narrative. I'm five foot six. I think he's six foot one. So the height. Five foot six. Holy shit. Yo, niggas really be five. I'm sorry. My bad. We aren't Sean C fans. We are semen enjoyers. Mm. Also, Sean doesn't talk to woman. I don't talk to woman? Okay. Well, I mean, these are the narratives, bro. Like, if this will make you feel good and make you go to sleep at night and make you feel like your mom still is unfucked when she get home, that's on you, gang. You are a cuck, self-admitted, and you have defended cuties publicly, which, by more than just me, by many, is considered child porn. You're pathetic. Beating me in a fight doesn't change any of those facts. I've also been super vocal about how I don't want to fight. Like, I I'm not afraid to say, like, I don't want to get hit in the head, right? Like, I'm afraid of <laughs> taking headshots. It's probably a super normal fear to have, so I'm averse to going into a... Who's stronger, LeBron or Sneeko? I don't know, LeBron might not be able to... Oh my god, I'm sorry, bro. Have y'all seen Savannah James? Oh my god. Shout out to all my fellow short brothers. I'm sorry. I just thought about like I, I can't even think about LeBron James without thinking about his wife. And I see and that sounds crazy as fuck to say. But god damn. <laughs> oh my god. I will give everything I own just for an opportunity to see the oxygen that she passed by seven me seven years ago. I don't give a fuck. No, that's like that's like, yo, with all due respect. I'm not gonna lie. There is no L that LeBron can take when he's going home to his wife, to Savannah. There's just no L at all. I'm sorry. Respect, man. I am respecting her. I'm respecting the fact 
that okay good investment that's not a good invest what do you mean what do you mean i can bottle that air up for years what are you talking about would you fight Jay-Z for Beyonce? Absolutely not. But I would 100% cross up LeBron for an opportunity to hold Savannah James' hand for like three minutes while walking down the street to go get ice cream and go back home. Now, I would do it LeBron even dirtier, like put a banana peel on the court and give him an injury to make sure he was out of commission to be in the house for about a month. Okay. I'm just saying, I got to plan this out very strategically. That's terrible. How? How? It's got nothing to do with me. You playing Mario Kart on the court? 100%. 100%. That's not toxic at all. Boxing match, especially one that's just a clout-driven spectacle like this, that'd be completely fucking worthless. And I've been super open about that, which I'm sure you know since you keep saying that you've watched my content, so you probably know that I was never going to- Why would you do that?! I thought you were linking me the tw uh, t the t the iDubs tweet. See, now we gotta be on this. Look at her. Are you serious? What do you have to say? Oh, he could he could. There's no better. There's no bigger accomplishment than having this woman at your side. LeBron will always be the greatest Sean, of all time. I have the Brent Fufu on standby. I'm LMK sorry. when you want it. And I'm sure she's got a great personality. Obviously, that's pretty privileged because I'm just assuming that she's a great person. But fuck. Why would you show me this? This is mesmerizing. Come on, man. MJ better? Okay, show me my show me Michael jo uh, Jordan's wife. Uh, I'm sorry. He don't have one. The fight in the first place. Especially since you're like significantly taller than me, right? Like it does, it does, it wouldn't make any sense. And even though you would probably beat me in a fight, you're certainly not beating me in like an aesthetic physique competition because goddamn, I blow your ass out of the water. Look at this fucking anime character physique I'm rocking. Meanwhile, you're over. See, this was me like last year, bro. And, I'll touch that and after that Young and May ideology, bro, this is the type of time and I'm on. This is the type of time and I'm on. But he looks good. He looks shredded right here. He looks good, bro. He does. That's not cap at all. I will literally show you. I can show you my picks. We not about to have a, a, a dick showing competition, bro. I'm sorry. We just, I'll show, I'm about to show you this. We're Fuck here it. with that Abercrombie and Fitch from 1998. <laughs> now, uh, in Sneeko's credit, okay, he did oh start man. going to the gym recently. Maybe I inspired him. And you know what? That's great. I'm glad I could have a positive impact on your life like that, Sneeko. Getting into the gym is a fantastic thing. And you're going to feel so much better. And I know you'll start seeing results soon as long as you keep at it. And then finally, our last exchange goes very similarly to the others. You're not special from the other 10 soy boys who say the same thing. If you got a problem, stop talking on the internet. Let's solve it. So I said, got your Discord still working on responses? Mm. Brother, I have no problem. You started it and I made I'm fun of you to. in return. You're upset about publicly admitting to cuckoldry and get mad at me for bringing it up. You should be mad at yourself instead. Have some self-reflection. Which it's true. I don't have a problem. You literally started it, Sneeko. And you even asked your audience Sean, to let me... Any picks. You might get more tributes. Know everything you said and send me your clips. You actually asked for a response and then got super upset when my response was a little too mean to your feelings. How is that not the ultimate cuckoldry? <laughs> like, even more so than your girl getting clapped by a thousand men. Jesus Christ. See what I'm saying? You could just go... You could take that and you can make it into anything you want to do, bro. It's just... Why did he tell niggas that, bro? Like, you, you, you just can't do nothing. How? Man. Like, how can you, with a straight face, still call other people soy boys? I'm not kidding. I really didn't want to keep talking about you, but you won't stop talking and crying about me. It's sad. I understand you have a humiliation fetish, so hopefully this whole thing has helped you orgasm one more time from all of it. I... I there is... N all right. Bro, if this is me, it just... It couldn't be me, though. That's the, that's the point. That's what we have to understand. There is no if this is me. It could never be me. It could never be us. We're normal. I I don't think it's fun dunking on you, Sneeko. I don't. And I'm certainly not canceling you. But you nah. keep doing this. So you forced my hand to make fun of you again. But anyway, that that's about it. See ya. You've been following me since 2018. You literally have seen my progression and then my regression 
as I've started and as I've stopped working out. And you know, the last time I stopped working out was mainly because of stress due to a family situation, if you are following the streams, and due to a uh, due to me looking for another place. So I, I literally had no time. Since niggas want to be on dick, I had to re-encrypt the encryption. Hold on. I still got to re-encrypt it. Hold on. One more. No, it's not stalling. I I had to re-encrypt it. Post-surgery, six months. What do you mean why am I saying? I'm, I'm explaining to you the situation, bro. I'm explaining to you the situation. It was post-surgery, six months. So I had my lung surgery in 2014, but I wasn't certified or prepared to do much physical activity until 2016. Okay. That was 2014. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. And I wasn't certified to do anything physical for the most part until uh, mid 2016. I'm so glad my thing showed up right here. This is me post-surgery. I'm just letting you know. This is me post-surgery. Right. This one is like I said, first out. And you can see my scars, right? One of my scars right here from the first surgery. You can see it right here, bro. It just is what it is. I'm sorry. Um, and then I came back on niggas. The scars are still there. And then I came back on niggas around the same period, the same time period. You know what I'm saying? We still putting in that work. We still getting, you know, a little bit shredded. We still, you know, developing the, the packs and the pecs and the shoulders and the buys a little bit. Trying to come through. Trying to, you know what I'm saying? Progress and shit like that. It ain't nothing crazy. But it ain't nothing simple. Not long after that, boom, other pick. We coming through. Not, I'm not even flexing here, but I'm just leaning in to show niggas like, okay. And then we got, you know what I'm saying, a little back, little back routine, you know what I'm saying? Afterwards, drinking a little water coming through. Don't ask who took the flick. Don't worry about it. Mind your fucking business. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I was already on this type of timing. All I got to do is get back 